What is soil? Soil is a. Let's see. Oh wow, good question. <laughs> there are so many aspects to soil. Soil is the skin of the earth that basically sustains us and keeps us alive. Supports us and feeds us and nourishes us and is the giver of all life. Soil is intricately interconnected with life. There is no life without soil and no soil without life. We are the land gardeners. We are gardeners, farmers, and growers looking for solutions. We are healing the life in our soils with our microbially rich climate compost. Soils are degraded because of us, because of humans, because of ignorance and arrogance, because of misunderstanding. Actions like cultivation, herbicides, fungicides, pesticides, overgrazing and flooding all contribute to the degradation of our soil resource. We have about eight years to make a really massive fundamental change. If we don't make it within the next eight years, we start to uh, reach these catastrophic tipping points will determine whether we go extinct or we don't go extinct. The, the, the stakes have never been higher on a change in human behavior. Soil is formed over hundreds or thousands of years, but we need to build soil now, immediately. Because we have to speed it up. We've basically spent the last hundred years destroying the soil and we've got about 10 years to sort it out is really to try to accelerate this psychological shift of the farmer because the biologic shift happens overnight. We can take 30, 40 year old toxic dead dirt and turn it into vital soil over the, you know, a 12 month process. It's just so fast in which nature will recover if we stop doing the wrong thing. Nature works, composting, that's how nature works. What the land gardeners are doing is creating that biological complexity in a controlled situation full of life. It's phenomenal. In only six to eight weeks, we can turn raw materials into microbially rich climate compost, teeming with life. The compost builds the biology within the soil, which in turn feeds the plants, creating resilient, self-sufficient communities of life. And it's this resilience which enables soils to withstand threats like drought, flooding, erosion. When you feed soil organisms a diet of nutrient-rich compost, they pay it forward in so many ways. Better soil structure that increases water infiltration, tighter biogeochemical cycles that bank soil nutrients, greater immunity to plant disease. If we care for the soil, it can self-organize and heal itself. Imagine soil is like a great cityscape, a metropolis. The buildings are built together by bacteria that make the very fine crumbs that are what build the bricks. And then it's the fungi that come in and these are the mortar that help stick together those bricks to build the walls. Soils is all about architecture. And that structure is our resilience. It's what holds the planet together. There's more carbon stored in the soil than there is in all of the vegetation in the world and in the atmosphere combined. And the role of carbon is very important in soil, particularly in well-structured, healthy, efficient soil systems. Healthy soil can lock away and sequester the carbon from the atmosphere, which contributes to climate change. Soil health 
is our most powerful tool in securing a sustainable future for this planet. 95% of the food grown, consumed by humans and animals is grown on soil. People are the mirror image of the soil they live on and vice versa. With what we know now, there's hope. I mean, soil health is the crux of it. We have the power to choose to treat the soil right. We have the power to lock carbon into the ground. Each one of us is a victim as well as a culprit. And from that point of view, each one of us has a responsibility. If we can allow nature to do what it's so good at, it's actually easier for us and we'll have less to do. As soon as you heal the soil, the rest of life floods back in. The health of soil, plants, animal, people, environment, and the planet is one and interconnected. We can all heal our soils.